Okay, look. I know what you're about to say, but trust me, just hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I am your best friend with the suggestions over a gaming. Welcome back. Did you like that intro? I thought of it literally just like a couple seconds ago. So slap like if you did like it. But anyways, I'm back with some more wrestling content. As you can see today, repping the GOAT. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. My G, Rey Mysterio. You done though. It's my favourite wrestler to be quite honest. Um, but I'm going to be back with some more wrestling content as I said before. And I was literally eating my breakfast. I've got training today. So I've got another wrestling video coming up for you guys later. Um, but literally, uh, I was thinking to myself, I was like, yo, uh, I keep seeing a lot of the time, you know, I, I know it's especially for the wrestling community and the gaming wrestling community, um, they always talk about GM mode coming back. Um, and that, that to me is kind of like, meh, and here or there. I mean, I, personally, I wasn't a massive fan of GM mode. I wasn't, all right, don't hate me, okay. Um, maybe because the first game I played it on was uh, Smackdown vs. War 2008, which wasn't the best one. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really like it, but it was fun. It was fun, and you definitely do get your playing time out of it, right? Um, but obviously, as you guys know, uh, 2K, they've absolutely ruined the series. I was going to get 2K20, but then I saw all the, you know, garbage... Um, the, the glitches, the, the the crashes, you know, it's just not a polished game, um, quite frankly. And it's a shame because it's the first time they've had like somebody like Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns like on the cover. Like just remember, if when what culture turns around it's like, oh ten things they want you to forget about these guys, the game is gonna be one of them, <laughs> put it that way. Um, but also, you know, I'm not gonna pay for something which, you know, uh, I know is absolute garbage, put it that way, you know, and uh, Oh, that's strange. What's FIFA 20 doing here? But anyways, back to GM mode. Um, I was having breakfast this morning, and I had a little bit of a brainwave um, concerning GM mode. I mean, personally, I'm more, you know, um, I'm more of a Road to WrestleMania guy any day of the week. But again, GM mode was a lot of fun, and I can see why people loved it the way that you know people did. Excuse me. So I had an idea sort of combine the two almost as a kind of thing well okay, here we go hear me out this is where it comes from okay hear me out okay so let me just set the scene for you okay imagine you get to play uh, a GM mode but it's somewhere like say 2k21 or 2 or 22 or whatever and say like you get to play as edge or a retired wrestler who's like a legend right you know, because you know you do get those guys sometimes. You know, we've had uh, Eric Bischoff before. Uh, we've had Paul Heyman in charge. We've had um, who else have we had in charge? Uh, there's a list of names, too many to mention. But obviously, you get the point. We've had some legendary guys be in charge. Triple H and William Regal, Johnny Saint, and well, not Sid Scarlett, but Johnny Saint, uh, NXT and NXT UK. You get the point. So imagine if you get to play as somebody like Edge. I'm going to use Edge as an example. So obviously he's you know you can create a little cutscene where he's like obviously um, I couldn't get back in the ring due to an injury so now I still but it's like I still want the power or you know I still want to make a difference in the WWE um, I saw the ratings drop in and all this stuff and now I'm here to make a change but I'm gonna do it a bit different so then he becomes GM pow so then obviously you get a little cutscene with like Vince McMahon or um, or Stephanie or Triple H, you know, however it goes down. And it's like, okay, who do you want to be in charge of? Uh, do you want to be in charge of NXT? You can even do it like, oh, do you want to be in charge of NXT? Um, so yeah, you want to be in charge of NXT, SmackDown, Raw, NXT UK. And it's like all this like thing. So then you get to like pick your brand who you want to be with. And then it goes to the draft. So then you go say like it's like the day after WrestleMania, um, it's like the day after WrestleMania, and basically you get to you know do the draft as normal. So you get to pick whoever you want to pick. So for instance, if it's like uh, um, NXT, you know you could pick you could pick um, you could pick the Undertaker to be in um, in NXT. 
you could do uh, Tommaso Ciampa to Raw, you know what I mean, you could pick all these sort of different guys, and it obviously, remember this, this, you know, this roster, you know, it's not like a women or an afterthought, so again, it'll be a tough choice to pick between guys like Rhea Ripley, or um, Shayna Baszler, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha, I could go on and on and on, but you get my point, so you guys, you know, you get, you get that cho choice to, you know, pick your roster, basically, but then also you have that, um, the thing with uh, Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 where it's like all the, the actual GM games where you have a certain amount of money to spend um, on your roster so for instance you can't be just having Randy Orton like Shinsuke you can't be having you know you have to think about it so you get a solid roster right right are you, are you on board so far right so you get the draft there yeah and then once that and then once that starts right let's just say we have a series of scenarios right um, and let's just say, uh, most say like certain situations are adapted to most wrestlers. Not that it's um, not that it's repetitive and boring, but at the same time, you know, there's a quite a lot of different options, and I know you can't customize every situation to every single character. So, for instance, you could do. Uh, a, a situation that happens with the big guys. This is where the storyline part of it comes in. So, so let's just say Edge has a situation, say like Braun Strowman attacks Rey Mysterio, and it's the whole David and Goliath storyline. You know, Braun's like uh, the situation plays out like uh, you know Rey's just a little guy, and and da 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 and da da da, and let's say he's champion at the time. So then it, co it kind of turns out like a Telltale game, and it's like. Um, you know, this is where, you know, you can kind of use the things from universe mode of like people's characteristics, whether they're bold, disrespectful, aggressive, that sort of thing. Say like if Braun's like, Braun's so like Braun, um, Braun's like an aggressive, aggressive heel, and Rey Mysterio is a babyface champion, a respectful champion, then you've got two things, and Edge can kind of pick between which one is the best one. Now he can choose to be chaotic and the heel one, and say, oh yeah, I'll give you the little rub. Or he could turn around and be like, no, nah, you know what, I'm going to do things fair. And then basically, excuse me, um, basically, you can try, basically, your choices affect how certain matches play out. So for instance, Braun could be like, uh, say like if you're like, oh, I want to be respectful, I want you guys to have a single match, no funny business. And Braun could be like, alright, yeah, you think that's funny, yeah? Boom, next week attacks Ray, injures him. And everyone's like, oh, uh, you know, imagine if it's just, say like if Ray's like 90 popularity, yeah? Then boom. He's, he's out injured and so it makes you question like oh okay so if he's injured I need to have another top star you know what I mean so you kind of have like you know these certain situations so let's say you just play through a season right and that basically all these types of things happen or even with the women's division say like if it's somebody like a pedigree like Charlotte and she's there like I want my title I haven't been used as much um, but if you don't use me as much, maybe NXT will use me better. So then it's kind of like that kind of FIFA aspect where like um, if you don't play a certain player uh, enough, then you also then they get kind of disappointed and then they want to jump brands. You they all want to jump teams. So it's that kind of thing, you know. So not only do you have to look after your roster and that sort of thing, uh, but you can also choose like where certain storylines go depending on your decisions, right? Because that's what happens in wrestling, right? Right, right. So, and imagine, like, for instance, uh, you could have um, a situation where, say, like, uh, let me give a random example Ali, right? Mustafa Ali. Let's just say um, he may not be the, uh, let's say, his popularity is like 60 or something, but he always keeps winning. So then you have a little situation where Mustafa, uh, Mustafa Ali. Uh, come, it doesn't always have to be live scene cut, cut scenes, by the way. Um, but let's just say Mustafa Ali comes up and is like, look, I've been a, I may not be the popular one, but I've been winning a lot recently. Can I have a title match? I would say, let's say he wants, oh, I want the Intercontinental Championship. Then it's like, uh, you can choose whether you want to be a heel and be like, nah, mate, you ain't doing that. And then let's just say his popularity increases and increases and increases. And then let's just say, further on down the line, because the choices affect how things happen, he gets involved in the main event match, and it becomes like a Daniel Bryan yes movement kind of thing. Boom! You know what I mean? Or you could be like, yeah, I want to give you the push. Yeah, so then, and let's just say, let's just say um, you can push, but like the push doesn't always work. 
so like you'd be like oh he's winning right he's winning right uh, he's winning a lot lately so you start to push him and and and, and push him towards say like an intercontinental championship match but let's just say his popularity only goes up a little bit you know what i mean so you know try and you know basically just like it's gm mode but it's a different way of approaching it um that's what i was just kind of thinking of like you know it doesn't have to be the same old you know um look after your superstars uh well yeah well, obviously that's what gm mode is but uh, uh, it doesn't have to be the same like format that you used in the previous smackdown versus raw games it's something that you can um you know have that solid core gm like looking after your superstars and and you know doing day-to-day -day stuff but also excuse me just add a bit of variety and a little bit of flavor so instead of being like uh these guys are involved in a storyline it could be like your choices affect how things play out so it becomes a bit like a telltale game basically um that's what i was thinking but uh yeah hopefully that will make the next uh sort of 2k games better just to, you know it's just my, my blah, 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 blah. just my idea but uh anyways I'll let you guys get on with the rest of your day. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to, you know, subscribe and leave likes, comments and that stuff, you know I'm always here for that. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Well, I don't really use that to be fair, but follow me on Instagram as well. I'll leave my handles in the description below. But anyways, take care and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye now.